This is my Bengal kitty and she just had babies and we need to wash her blanket because it stinks. What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be experimenting, trying out some black owned brands. These products were actually bought from We Buy Black as well as straight from the brand itself. I also wanna put a little disclaimer. This isn't the most sexiest aesthetic type of video, but these essentials are so necessary because these are things that we use every single day. Ways that we can win, in my opinion, in the black community are circulating the dollars in essential items that we need and we use every single day in the household. I will go ahead and put all the links, the pricing, the ounces, the comparison and price down below in the description box, as well as in this video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by talking about the true product. So now I have three different products here. This one right here is a fabric softener, this is a clear detergent, and then this is a heavy duty detergent. I haven't used any of these products yet, so this is gonna be kind of like a see as we go type of situation. But I really like this because I do have pets and I do have new babies in the house. So with that being said, this is fragrance free. It's also great for sensitive skin and it's gonna be good to use for my animals if anybody in my household doesn't want any heavy fragrance on their clothing. This one's great because it is heavy duty and it is four times concentrated. It removes dirt, brightens fabric, and leaves a fresh, clean scent. What does this smell like? It smells good, camera lady. Oh, it smells like almost fabuloso. <laughs> does it? It's like it a like cleaning a like floor product. It smells like cleaning products. Smells familiar, but it definitely has a unique fragrance. And then this is a fabric softener. The fabric softener is a lavender scent. This is a biodegradable cotton-based softener, and it can wash up to 101 loads. The 101 Load True Laundry Detergent was $14.99, and I paid $7 for shipping, which was a grand total of $21.99. And then when I shopped directly on the True website, I bought this True Plant-Based Fabric Softener for $15.29, as well as the 101 Load True Clear Laundry Detergent for $16.99. The shipping was $8, and my grand total was $40.28. So True Products has 25 distributors and they actually do business in 18 states. So as far as receiving this, I made my purchase on June 4th and I received it on June 16th. Obviously, when you need laundry detergent, you need it right then and there. So what you guys can do is they offer a subscription service basically saying that you want these products shipped whatever frequency as you want, maybe once a month, maybe every two weeks or whatever so that you can have it automated so that you can not only support black businesses, but get the detergent when you actually need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out by trying to clean this because this obviously needs to be washed. The babies are about a week and a few days old. I'm gonna try to clean this up with the laundry detergent. And the good thing about this is that this removes dirt, fights stains, it brightens the fabric. Like look at how gross this is. She had lots of like yoni discharge after birth. So as you, ew, it's like an out. Okay. Ew. So if you look on the floor, it's all the little poop nastiness that was on the blanket. That's the umbilical cord. That's the umbilical cord from the cat. So this is gross. Okay, let's see how it dried up. I don't see any stains at all. This is literally like new. Now the real test is to see if Mama Cat approves of Where's this Daisy? because if it's scented, she Where's won't want to put her babies on it. Nice, clean, soft, warm, no stain. Now we have a nice, clean blanket. Not scented, so the babies aren't confused. 
It's nice and warm. So I just wanna tell you guys a little bit about my customer experience when I purchase these products. We Buy Black is great because it showcases a whole bunch of black owned businesses. Um, there were definitely pros and cons as far as shopping on We Buy Black, which I think that as consumers, as black consumers trying to circulate the black dollar, we need to provide these comp companies with solutions and also feedback so that we can have a better customer experience. I was able to buy about like $80 worth of product and I'll go ahead and put all of the receipts here so you guys can see, but I ended up paying about $40 in shipping. My business understanding on these is each business had separate shipping costs. So I'm not sure if We Buy Black is a place where you buy directly on one site and then they basically send out like a third party or like a drop shipper and they drop ship everything to the individual manufacturers and they send out something separately. Maybe if we as a community invest in We Buy Black and allow them to buy all of these products in bulk and they ship out together, that would be also an alter alternative option. But I also wanna open this up to give you guys an opportunity to have any type of feedback if you guys have any resources or anything like that. So keep in mind when you are buying from these brands, you are going to have to be paying for shipping. You don't have the convenience of buying them straight direct when you just go to the store. But if we invest into these brands, we can get these brands potentially in stores and we can possibly even lower the shipping cost if one household had all of these products in-house where the shipping came from one person rather than seven different brands. And then we have Nubian Pride. Nubian Pride was purchased directly on We Buy Black. The Nubian Pride liquid laundry detergent concentrate came with three bottles at a price of $15 and a shipping cost of $10 with a grand total of $25. I purchased this on June 4th and today is June 17th and I got this maybe like five days ago. Nubian Pride is a green company and all of their products are 100% free of ozone depleting chemicals and toxic compounds. None of the products are tested on animals and contain any animal byproducts. The Nubian Pride Ultra Power Liquid Detergent is said to be environmentally safe. It says it's low suds, but as you can see when I pour it, it has a lot of bubbles and suds. The smell is like non-existent and very faint, and the consistency is a bit watery. The Nubian Pride Ultra Soft Fabric Softener has absolutely no smell. It's a thinner consistency, and it kind of looks like almond milk. Absolutely no smell at all like no smell whatsoever. So if you're um, sensitive to smell or you just don't like smell on your fabric, that's really, this is gonna be really good. Camera lady, smell? Yeah, it doesn't. No smell. Not very soft. Then we have a liquid soap. So this is a clean, Cleanvation Dish Soap. This is from Laura K Innovations. It's eco-friendly, no harsh chemicals, cuts through grease, free of parabens, sulfates, DEA, TEA, MEA. This came in a three pack and I also bought this on We Buy Black. When you open it, it's not seal protected. Three pack and this was $14.68. Then added a shipping cost of $8.99, bringing me to a grand total of $23.67. So this is my cat bowl. It's not coming off. So this smells really good. It reminds me of like a like a lip gloss smell. Maybe something that I had as a little girl. I don't know. So I kind of feel like the dish soap kind of lubricates and softens up the cat food that's really stuck on here. And it smells, it smells like, like watermelon, strawberry, ooh, strawberry-ish. It smells really nice, and I really like it. It really left it squeaky clean. Good, I'll definitely be happy using this dish soap. Now that she has a fresh, clean bowl to eat out of, we are going to feed her. She's really bougie and only likes this brand of food. She will not eat dry food. 
at all. I got you, mama. The next step that we gotta do is put their new puffy blanket on here. Mm, this smells good too. I like man smells and it kind of smells like manly. What do you think? What does it smell like? Mm -hmm. It has that, yeah, that like. It has like a manly strong, not strong because it's not overpowering. I like fragrance so I don't mind. I mean, it smells good. I like it. The dishes smell really nice. The kitchen actually smells nice. This brand came with three 16 ounce bottles. And then this one right here is one 32 ounce bottle, but this came in the three pack with the laundry detergent. Both of these products are good. These are products that I would use in the house. These are products that I would recommend. Um, obviously, it kind of just depends. Some people don't care. It's dish soap. If you guys want more eco-friendly, obviously this one is great. Something that smells good, this one is great. I use both of these in my home and I'm happy with the purchase of both of these products. All right, y'all, so that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed every single product that I used here, and I will go ahead and link them all down below in the description box. Remember, this is a time to add constructive criticism to these brands, giving them help, giving them love, buying the products, being patient, um, letting them know what you like or what you dislike. I personally liked every single product that I used here. The only thing that I think we can improve as a community is just the pricing and shipping and as well as the duration of the time that it got here. So if anybody knows a way that a distributor can ship these out in a more cost effective way, these are brands that I would like to invest in. These are brands that I hope that you guys invest in. And if you guys have any other suggestions on household products that you want me to try out or black owned products that you want me to try out around the house, go ahead and link them down below. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bisous!